Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and so I thought those RPC calls were just awesome. So I wanted to go ahead and show you how you can use them in different ways for other awesome stuff. So we're kind of going to go over some of the same stuff, but there's nothing better in life than repetition, because how else are you going to remember? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, make a particle system behind this guy, like an explosion. We're in the movies, aren't we? All right, so let's uh, go and create game object, create other uh, particle system. There we go. All right. So we have this fancy smanchy particle system. And I'm going to change the emission. This is not a tutorial on particle systems, so I'm just going to do this quick. I'm going to change the uh, rate to be zero. And I'm going to change the particles to emit at a time 200 and let's do 300. So 300. I'm going to change the shape to be a hemisphere. Oof, yes, explosion. And I'm just going to stick that on the player. Also, I'm going to set the lifetime to like one second, so it's just going to be a nice and quick. Oof, there we go. I'm going to. Oh, oof, let's not do that. I'm going to snap this over here to the player. In fact, I'm just going to zero it out again. All right, and I'm going to turn off looping, and I'm going to turn off play on awake. If I play this, I think I might be thinking of the wrong. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. So uh, play on awake is false, so it's not going to play. So I'm going to create a script to make this play, and then we're going to convert it to being an RPC call. You, you're probably going to do this over your prototyping stage. You're going to create a script to do something, and then you're going to convert it to work on the network. So I'm just going to call this play particles. I'm going to stick that uh, script on the particle system. And let's open it up and edit it. All right, so on our update, what we're going to do is we're going to say if we're going to do a simple uh, input dot get key down key code dot space. If we press the space bar, I want to say uh, particle system dot. Uh, what am I thinking of? I think it's emit. Uh, this tells me to emit a count. I don't want that. Let's do emission particle emitter. No. Mission rate. Enable emission. There we go. True. So we're going to enable the emission. That should make it so when I press the space bar it plays particles. No, it doesn't. All right. Since it doesn't, I have a better idea. Let's click on our particle system. Let's get rid of that crap. And you can turn play on awake back on. So this shouldn't play anything whatsoever. However, what we're going to do is we're going to say particle system dot emit. 300. So we're going to emit 300 particles. Yeah, let's play. And when I press spacebar, it emits 300 particles. Great. I'm also going to say else if input dot get key down key code dot let's say return. If you press the return key, we're going to emit a ridiculous amount of particles. We're going to emit 1500 particles. And we're going to crash everybody's slow computer. So that's 1,500 versus the 300. All right. I want this to work on the network. So think about how we break this code apart to work on the network. First of all, let's create an RPC. So here's our remote procedure call. Uh, so let's do public void um, do explode. Exploder. All right. Int and count. So we're going to say how many particles come out of it. And think about it. We can just take this emit line and change the uh, input for the emit to be count. Uh, all right. We have an RPC call to emit particles now. We can use that RPC call. We can say uh, remote. Wait, sorry. Network view. I was thinking remote view for some reason. So network view dot RPC. We're going to put do exploder in a string. 
and we're going to say RPC mode all. We want this to happen for everybody, including ourselves. Now, uh, let's just copy this line and let's paste it up here. And you know that I did it wrong because I didn't put in the uh, arguments. So I'm going to put a comma after this, say new object array. And the argument is the count. So for this one, it was 1500. And in this one, so new object array, this one was a count of 300. Let's make it a count of something very small, like 15. So if we press spacebar, 15. If we press uh, the return key, 1500. Now, there is a problem. We do not have a remote view on this particle system. So, this particle system is going to be a unique type of remote view. We don't care where this particle system is. It's staying put. It's not going anywhere. It's not moving. We're not going to manipulate its position. It is staying right there for our entire game. So let's be clever, shall we? Let's create a uh, network view on it. However, the observed is transformed. That's fine. But let's change its state synchronization to off. We don't want to synchronize anything over the network. All we want to do is RPC calls. With this state synchronization off, you can still do RPC calls. You just can't use the on serialized network view, any of that stuff. So, since we're not updating anything over the network other than RPC calls, it makes sense for us to make this a completely off uh, synchronized network view. Now, we're ready to go ahead and run this. So I'm going to build this guy. So build and run. Oh wait, I gotta put my network view back on my camera here. Or my network menu so I can create a server and a client. And I'm gonna build this. So build and run. Just overwrite my old stuff. Do 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 do. Alright. Let me bring this over here. Now I'm going to emphasize a point here that I made earlier that you may have forgotten since it was so long ago. So I'm going to host on this guy and I'm going to connect from the editor. If I press spacebar we get 15 particles on both of them. If I press return we get 1500 particles on both of them. Now if I go over to the Unity editor and I press spacebar we're also going to get it. That RPC mode is going on both the client and the server. So if I press return, it's going to go on both of them. So both can control this uh, network view. Now, if you do not want that, in the next tutorial, I'm going to go over how you can prevent one uh, or many, uh, everything but the owner, from being able to manipulate this particle system. We're going to make it where the server can emit the particles, but the clients cannot. And uh, so I will see you in that tutorial. I hope you use more of these RPCs. They are just delightful. So see you in the next tutorials.